Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In front of me, we have the 2023 CRV Sport. This is brand new, fresh off the factory line, fully redesigned. You have your LED, LED strip at the top, your three reflectors at the bottom, projecting the LED beam. You have your Honda Sense safety feature radar behind the emblem right there. So the LED bar at the top wraps around to the bottom. These are 18 inch alloy rims. These aren't the base ones. These are an upgrade for sure. These are on Hankook all season tires. Show you guys that. We have our sunroof at the top. You have your railings along the side so you can attach uh, clips to mount your bike for storage. You have your little spoiler here. You have your antenna for the radio. My favorite feature has to be the rear, the taillights wrapping down. Gives the premium look, looks like a Volvo XC60. You have your sport badge down here, letting everyone know it's not a base one. This is an all wheel drive. So this has a 1.5 liter turbo engine producing around 190 horsepower, which is plenty for the city. We have two exhausts right there. I can't really go in the car right now because it's locked, but I can show you guys a little bit of the interior, I guess. I have a footage of the base one. So the only thing that'll be different is the infotainment system and the seats. Actually, wait, never mind. These are cloth seats. So leather is, of course, an extra. You have your, it's really hard to see here. So what the standard equipment at no extra cost is, exterior features, dual heated power remote control mirrors, power glass moonroof, front windshield defroster, 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. So interior features include adaptive cruise control, smart keyless entry, heated front seats, remote engine stutter, low speed follow, 17 touch screen display, 18-way adjustable power driver's seat, safety features, that's what everyone cares about. Road departure, migration, mitigation, camera talk, collision, <laughs> mitigation, braking system, lane keeping assist, lane keeping assist. It has eco mode right there, front rear stabilizer. So I can't really go in the car right now, but I'll um, stitch in a clip of me looking inside the interior of the car. So this model is priced with all the fees, $43,740, that's Canadian. The color is $300 and it's like a purpley color, purpley blue. Manufacturer suggested retail price, 41,000. So yeah, 43,740. Not including tax, so you're looking about 50k out the door. What do you guys think? Is it worth 50k? Probably not, but that's how everything is these days. So this is one trim below the hybrid. We have a white one here. This is a white sport. This one's priced at 
43,000. I have a white one here, this blue one, and we have a white and a black one over here. Let's check out the prices of these ones. These ones are priced at 43,000 also. So this is a sport. This is the base one, I believe, or the Mitch trim. Check that out. 45,000, so it's not base. Oh, this has the updated infotainment system. This is the EXL. Uh, let's check what this one has. This one has a nine inch touchscreen. The other ones have seven inch. Overall, not worth it. We have my model Y over here for comparisons. Yeah, not cheap. We also have the new Civic right there, the 2022. We have the HRV. So what I'm excited about will is pretty much the new Honda Pilot that's coming out next month and the Accord. Really excited about those cars because the infotainment system will have Google Assist, more powerful engines. We have another Civic here. So in this video, I'll also stitch like the cost of monthly payments the packages this this uh, model offers and all that. And everything will be stitched together in a good video for you guys. Cause I know there's a lot of interest in the HRV. So we're in the 2023 CRV. Sorry for the light. This is the base infotainment that you would get with this car. Nothing crazy. You have your wireless charging pad right there. USB and USB-C. You have your 12 volt power socket. Your gear selector right there. You have your drive modes. You can turn off the engine at a red light. Hill descend and your parking brake. Two cup holders down there. Storage. So these are the base seats, they're cloth. Nothing too crazy, but it gets the job done. You have your air vents here. Feels good. Climate control at the bottom, AC. Three spoke steering wheel. It's obviously heated. You have this chrome accent along the door. So this is the view from the back as a passenger. So on the base models, you do not get any charging in the back, but you do get climate for the back, obviously. Yeah, I'm 5'9", pretty good leg room. You have your sunroof. Honestly, not a bad car for the money, but Once you got more features. So these seats do recline back. Very nice. You have your light switch in the back. A lot of storage room in the back. Comes with a flat tire. More power sockets in the back. Yeah. So there's no transmission hump. So you can slide along. Not a bad car, guys. I actually like this steering wheel. So it's half digital, half analog. The air vents are pretty much out of the Civic. 
yeah only issue is these cloth seats are very cheap not the best so if you spill something on it, it will like absorb a lot of sweat or smell yeah